guest approaching bridge 47 and this bridge is called Cornhill Bridge and it's uh, just taking us on to a nature reserve which is called Wixall Mosses and which is uh, an old peat bog left over from the Ice Age which is now a habitat of many a rare insect and uh, this time of year we don't stop because it's adder breathing season and uh, I don't want the dogs getting bit by an adder uh, this was a nice little mooring on the right here actually but uh, you can see no one's used it for years now and it's all gone overgrown but you used to be at a moor in here a moor here a couple of years back very nice moor and it was too Hey, next stop, Wixall Mosses. We're chugging along now. Big open stretches of canal down here. This is just turning the corner onto the big straight at Wixall Mosses. It's really quite beautiful around here. Lovely British countryside. Such a nice time of the year, the spring. All the doom and gloom of the dark nights and bare trees and hardly any greenery. It all just comes to life. I got a feeling this year is going to be a good year. Clouds gone over the sun. This is the uh, the big straight, the mile straight down to Wixel Mosses. And you can just see a boat right at the end, and I reckon that's my mate Bill, who drives the fastest narrowboat in the West. A yeah, great big long stretch down here, absolutely gorgeous. Try and put the camera a bit further so you might be able to see a bit better. I'm on tippy toes now. Well, we're about halfway down the straight now. In the distance you can see the uh, that boat that was in the distance in front of us he's actually coming towards us and he's uh he's heading off and uh still got quite a way to go i keep forgetting how long this straight is yeah still a bit to go and there was a place down here somewhere probably overgrown now which i used to moor as well and uh a nice little mooring actually in the middle of nowhere I've been here. It's, uh, it's also overgrown now. Yeah, there we go, it's here. Yeah, where are all those brambles in that are? That used to be a mooring years ago. And it's probably better that it isn't a mooring anymore. It's, uh, yeah, it uh, you know, uh, belongs to the wildlife. Yeah, you see a little path going down there still. Yeah, I used to moor there. And, uh, like I said, it's an old peat bog, so whatever you do, if you ever moor along here, don't light fires because you set the ground on fire. Still going along, ten minutes later. <laughs> this is one long straight. But we're nearly at the end, where this boat is moored on the left here. That is where uh, the end of the straight is. And you can turn right there to go down to Wixall Marina. Or go to the left under the bridge and that carries you on the main drag of the canal and there we are at the end of the straight like I said turn right down there we'll take you to Wixel Marina and then uh, if you want some coal or gas or whatever 
I know they, it's a big hire boat base down there apparently. Like I said, I've never been there, so I don't know. And then uh, if we carry on here, we got a lift bridge. And I wonder if my good friend Bill Price is waiting for me up at the lift bridge. That does look like it could be him. Yeah. Right. Let's go and do the lift bridge. I've got an agreement with my mate Bill today who's uh, currently doing the bridge. Basically he's going to open the bridge, I'm going to go through, and when we get to the next bridge I'm going to open that one and I'm going to let him through. So we're sharing the work of doing the bridges because when you're on your own these lift bridges are an absolute pain. So let's, uh, let's go and see how he's doing. Well, he's got it up. That's the first time in many years Bill Price has ever got it up. <laughs> I better edit that bit out. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Oh, look at the way he struggles trying to get that boat through. Legend of a man. Or is it leg end? Alright. In a sec. The jammy git. There's a boat coming the other way, so they'll have to put the bridge down. He's a jammy git, up Bill. I'm gonna head on with a narrow boat at the moment. Hello. One down. I think it's free to go. Bridge 44, round form bridge. And there's a nice little picnic spot on the left here. And if you've got a car and you're on your boat and you want somewhere to leave the car, there's a nice little car, car park here. Or if you're just in the area and you fancy coming out and having a picnic next to the canal. There's benches supplied down here. And it's a lovely little area. You can go for a nice walk around the mosses. The lovely nature reserve. Another unloved boat, sad as well, because it's a really nice boat, this boat. I'm not sure what engine it's got in it, but it looks like it's got a historic engine in it. And it's just chucked at the end of a garden forgotten about. Very sad. That's that one done. I came around the corner, Bill had opened it, and was waiting for me, fair play to him. And, uh, wait head off. So the next one, I think we've got another two yet, so uh, oh my god, I hate those flipping lift bridges. They're hard work. Bridge 40, Blacko Bridge. We're slowly making our way to Whitchurch. Not long ago now. Few more lift bridges to do. Two, maybe three, depending on if I can't get on the um, arm. But which I probably won't anyway. I'd prefer to more on the side of the canal, I'm honest with you. It's lovely here, just meand meandering along. Nice little bit of canal. Really nice. Next bridge is Bridge 39. This is Cambrian Railway Bridge, and there's an old disused railway up here that goes to Whitchurch, I think. I've never walked along it, but I've often 
thought about doing it. You can see the uh, been a few hire boats smashed against it over the years. God bless them. Just coming into uh, Waitchurch Church now, uh, Bridge 35, Sparks Bridge. This is the uh, last bridge before we get a succession of um, uh, little lift bridges, and then uh, we should be in Waitchurch. Church. Not long to go now. Around the corner here, we should have the first of two or maybe three, depending on how far we go, lift bridges. And this first one is called Hassel's Bridge number two. Second is Hassel's Bridge number one. And if I'm not correct, uh, I am correct, even. Um, the last one is New Mills Lift Bridge. I think that's right. I've written all over it on my book. But yeah, I better start slowing down here because I'm pretty sure there's moorings. Let's uh, crank the throttle back. I was just approaching the bridge. There's Bill's boat. But where's Bill? I think he's walking through the boat and he's going to drive it through and expect me to close it behind him. Which is perfectly acceptable. Right, let's do the bridge. Bill's just gone, and uh, I'm just going to drift through. Right to we're under the bridge, and jump off, and uh, close the mechanism, which is that hydraulic mechanism there. These bridges are hydraulic. Well, all lift bridges are hydraulic. <laughs> to my knowledge, anyway. Right, let's get off and do the bridge. So, when you operate one of these bridges, you know, that way to go up and that way to go down. Quite self explanatory, really, isn't it? Right, let's get them mongrels. Ooh. And the little mushroom you've got here is for mooring up to and mooring off of. All right, lads, nearly there. One more bridge to go, or maybe two. All right. Great big bohemoth of a man. Here he comes. All six foot seven of him. Maybe. Yes. Oh, I'm all over the place here. Well, let's put the camera going, guys. I'm out of control. That's Bill just leaving. Get some rubbish today. Get some rubbish today. 
Radio. After bridge 32 you've got the ABC boat hire um, base. So if you're uh, interested in hiring a boat on the Klangoffin, this is one of the many boat yards that can hire you a boat. They also crane boats out for blacking as well. When there's a campsite here. Day boat hire £99, or from £99, I should say. Alarm bells always ring when there's that dreaded from in front of it. Folks are out there busy. Just as you uh, leave Bridge 31A, which is the Whitchurch um, bypass bridge, you'll, uh, there's a brand new Aldi here. So if you need any shopping, um, don't stop. Actually, don't stop there. Go on to the next bridge towards Clangoffin direction. Then there's a little um, um, nook that you can take up the side of the bridge, which will take you onto the road up to the Aldi. So if you need some shopping on your on your boat, this is a good place to stop. This is where we're going to try and find a moor in. Unfortunately though, the arm is uh, famous for people like this first boat here that just, they don't move the boats. It's only meant to be a few days or something like that, but they just they just live there basically. So when you come in like I am now, you can't get them all in. Really boils my blood. When I left, um, when I came through here on the way, um, going up the canal probably a month ago now these all these boats same boats were still moored there and it's meant to be 48 hour moorings for two days maximum and the canal and river trust don't do anything about it just winds you up really you can see for a boat for, for a moor and it's 48 hours you can see that you know plants out this woman had chickens out last time and everything. They're just living, living here basically because they too tight to pay for living in the marina. I don't know how they get away with it. Well, this is the Witch Church Arm anyway. Famous for skankers. Skanker. It's an unlicensed boat, an overstaying boat, or any kind of boat basically just breaks all the rules and makes it difficult for everybody else. It does anger me. Right, let's go and have a look down the bottom of the arm. All right, there's me mate Bill. I'm going to wind round here and uh, reverse down there. Get the yard bit out of the way first and then you can drive straight out some more. That's us nearly there. And I want to just get in front of Bill down there.
Nearly there. That. And it's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>